This is Raptor News and this is Planet Hell a long time ago. It's wings spread in the distance. 100% not chemtrailing. 100% it looks like a moon falling but this is Nibiru falling down out of the sky in a dust cloud. That dust cloud is packed with meteorites and this is it again. Mexico. You know and you're seeing just the fire, the heat of the planet, you know, illuminating in our skies. And that's all you're seeing. So you're gonna, if you look close, you can see that it's red, it's fiery, it's moving. It's not spaceships crashing and everything else. It ain't the dome splitting open. It is just that fiery planet out there waiting for God to say, it's time. Here it is again in an unknown location. It's out there exploding and doing what it does waiting so um, someone named Becky Lewis caught this on a high-powered telescope right here and so there go your white right there but what's surrounding it red right and so she filming this on a high-powered telescope uh, in the night she knows exactly what it is it's hell and soon will you know so this planet is supposed to be what three times the size of earth and so when it says hell is going to be cast into the lake of fire the earth is going to burn up and go into this damn planet i do believe one thousand percent one thousand percent and so this is some of my best footage of planet hell nibiru and right here that's nibiru out front and that's the million miles is millions of miles of debris field dust sulfur uh, smoke um, meteorites hailstones you name it is in there but also the planets that are supposed to be circling the planet is six I believe and then the Biru makes the seventh planet you know and so you can see the planets lighting up around it and this is way in the distance you know someone online threw us a bone and I was there to get that bone and so here go your bone and so as you're gonna see Nibiru has a cross out front and it's called the planet of the crossing I'm not making shit up you know I'm not just throwing out something for views this is real so you're gonna see that cross in the end time flashing in our sky some people will some people won't some people are going to see an image of Jesus Christ watch there it is again and that's Nibiru coming down it's only going to last a minute in the sky look how light it is six planets plus Nibiru make the seventh right and you're going to see it and it's just going to disappear and then we're going to keep showing it because uh that was the most excellent capture right there you know of this so you can see the fiery big round planet out front that people is catching in the skies you can see the white illuminating the sky is not cracking or the dome is not cracking that is the light from this fiery damn planet appearing to be white but as we saw close up in a high powered telescope it is a fiery blazing damn planet you know and so let's check out some more right here someone just recently caught this an image of Jesus but in the Nibiru light here it is again a cross going across the sky you know all of it has something to do with the planet you know and just like I keep trying to say if any of it is fake then you forge the fake part and you make another video and you show me how I fake this or anybody else fake this it ain't it's 100 dynamically real check this out so this person is driving so they're seeing the uh planet burning right there in the sky and then the sun to the left you know and this thing is at a distance it's inside this little halo thing you know what i mean and the halo explained i can't explain it maybe it has something to do with the kingdom coming i'm, I'm pretty sure it does you know but we know Nibiru is right there in the midst of it. 
and so now we're going to catch a glimpse of it a glimpse of it you know hurling with its wings spread right there inside the red circle so as you see it it's right there hurling with its wings spread right there looking like an eye looking like a person flying with wings and what's behind it is a debris field that dust debris field and we're going to show you that debris field and how it moves so as you see this is Nibiru out front and it's fiery debris field is behind another great capture and it's twisting it's hurling I want you to see the way that it's twisting because we're going to get a close-up on the debris field of asteroids meteorites everything else in there is dust particles hailstones everything God is going to rain down on the people he said he's going to rain down and it's something about this deb debris field it's accurate it don't miss its targets so it's going to hit targeted people so here go the debris field right here up close and see how it's hurling and turning just like that was all of those are meteorites so you can zoom in on anyone just capture one or a couple on to get the brightest one and you'll see that they are hurling they are hurling rocks hot fiery damn rocks you know and that this is what's going to be rained on you know the european nations you know the gentile nations and it's going to destroy them in one hour pound them to powder and so right here here you get nibiru crossing over our heads you know it cro it's crossing over so he's filming that while the sun is going down over here so the sun has went down over here but there's a sun still shining in our skies right there peeking through the dust clouds right that is hell it said if you knew what that was you would tremble if you knew what it was if you knew it was coming on this earth and how bad it was going to be you would men's heart is failing them that's how bad it's going to be heart attacks every damn where it's going to scare the holy shit out of y'all and so let's read some scriptures that verify what i'm saying start with deuteronomy 28 24 the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder red iron oxide dust and dust the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed so this red iron oxide calls sepsis it calls dust pneumonia so it is killing killing millions of people it also causes diabetes so diabetes is high people don't even know why until thou be destroyed so again the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust where's that powder and dust coming from it tells you next from heaven shall it come down upon thee that dust until you be destroyed it is talking about this thing god uses this planet planet hell nibiru planet x whatever the hell you want to call it god didn't name it in here that i know of you know except for the fiery trial leviticus 26 19 and i will break the pride of your power and i will make your heaven as iron so what is this thing an iron planet red iron oxide is being emitted from this stony as damn planet you know and your earth as brass burnt up the color of brass Isaiah 28 19 from the time that it goes forth it shall take you for morning by morning shall it pass over so the guy was filming it over his head and then he was filming it over there as the Sun was going down so it says by day and by night the understanding of this message will bring sheer terror that's just written just go look up Isaiah 28 19 and it says the understanding of this message message will bring sheer terror the reason why it ain't bringing sheer terror because you don't understand it yet you know it, you didn't watch so damn many movies that when you actually see the real deal you don't even know how to take it you know that's how retarded this world makes people psalms 18 12 
you think you still watching a movie and being entertained and you finna go to this fire and burn up like a motherfucker for eternity. Psalms 1812 At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, this dust cloud, hailstones and coals of fire. What do you mean? The fire consumes before God arrives. He ain't talking to your ass. The fire is going to tell him who you are. Again, the fire, the fire is a trial. Those meteorites, the fire, the hailstones, are going to hit targeted sinners. One billion percent. It is going to hit targeted individual sinners. Genesis 15, 17. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, here go this thing. Behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passes between those pieces. You know, as soon as the sun is going down, as soon as the sun is rising. 1 Peter 4, 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. This fire is going to try you. So people have dreams that the asteroids and the meteoroids go past them. Some people have dreams that these things hit them in the head, you know, as though some strange thing is happening to you. So what's happening? A fiery trial is going to be coming on this earth. It is here. We're looking at it in our skies right damn now. You can see this thing in a dust cloud, a big fiery planet out front in a dust cloud passing over our heads every single day. It is close as shit. You know, too close for comfort. Time is up. 1 Corinthians 3.13 So every man's work shall be made manifest. We're going to see what it is through this fiery trial. For the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by the fire. The fire is going to show who you really are. You can hide your gay shit, your carnal shit, your uh, adultery, your fornication, all your betrayal. You can hide it. You can hide your lies and your deception and all of your drugs and everything you do. Hide. But the fire going to do what? It's going to reveal it. How? It's going to burn your fucking sin through your ass. It's going to come through you. And he said your blood, your blood going to rain out of your body like dust. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. You know. Ezekiel 38 22 and I will rain upon him and upon his militaries and upon the many people that are with him and overflowing rain and great hailstones fire and brimstone so when we zoomed in we could see the fiery brimstones you know up close is how I want to show you so you know that it's real you know and I'm, I'm just trying to save your soul it ain't to scare doom and gloom the fearful shall enter the lake of fire. So stop fucking being scared and get up off your sorry ass and stop sinning. That's all you need to do. You fearful because you are a sinner. And it says, when the Gentiles sin, they shall be burned. They shall be destroyed. Right? And you you are going to get destroyed. You thinking Jesus is going to come save you? You are highly deluded. You are highly deluded. In Acts, it says, if you sin after knowing the knowledge of the truth, there is no more remission for your sins. Jesus Christ don't work. It already told black people, you Hebrews, you Jews, Christ crucified don't work for you. It is a stumbling block for you. But y'all still keep going for that crap, man. Second Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night when nobody is expecting it in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are there shall be burned up and that's the sinful uh wrong iniquitous works is going to be burned up where is the works coming from yo ass put two and two and you got four dummy Re revelations 2014 and death and hell are were cast into the lake of fire. So when it's all said and done, earth is going to be demolished in that big ass damn planet that's three or four times bigger than this earth it is going to be cast into that fiery hell. So it's just going to be one big old hell. 
It's a wrap the news, man. Get y'all shit together. You know, it, it ain't going to kill you to listen to me. Stop sinning. Stop pretending. The fire is going to reveal your shit. And that's why I'm selling, saying this to you. You ain't going to fake it with the fire. Really get your shit together. You and your family. This is Raptor News.